The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what shall I compare it? It is a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, The apostles and the people that were listening to Jesus when uh, he uh, gave this teaching still all expected the Messiah to come who would be this powerful political and military ruler who would restore uh, the people of Israel, the nation, to uh, greatness. And uh, the Lord spends a lot of time explaining that he is the Messiah and this is not what his kingdom will look like. His kingdom will be where God and the things of God comes, come first. And uh, the, at the end of time, all these things will come uh, to fruit, that God will reign eternally over all things. All will acknowledge uh, his reign. All things will be uh, moved, directed to him. But how does it come about? Not with a blare of uh, trumpets, uh, not with bombast and weapons, but it's imperceptible. It's quiet. It's little. And uh, we live in a culture where uh, evil is always put before us and where there is a lot of bombast and so forth. The Lord Jesus today is telling us to not give the devil uh, more than is due. The devil always will try to appear bigger and stronger uh, than the enemy actually is. He's not that way. He's not as strong as we think he is. And we should not give in to the evil all around us. Instead, we should ask for the grace to have the eyes to see in all the small ways, all the little ways, the little people, the little acts of of goodness and grace that are all around us. But it takes practice. It takes a certain focus of the eye to see it. And when we see it, then we begin to really understand that the kingdom of God really is growing and that God ultimately will reign over all, as St. Paul says to the Romans, over all creation itself. Coming up to a Holy Communion today, let's pray for the eyes to see the little the small, the quiet, the silent uh, ways of goodness and God's grace that are all around us.